over the last couple of years um, we've noticed a bit of a trend with our fella van lifers and van dwellers we've started giving their vans a name and we've been asked many a time what we call our van and for a while it was nicknamed Boris because it was always telling us what to do and always causing us problems <laughs> the sat nav's got quite a um, Etonian voice we'll say or Cambridge voice you know that's that, that politician style voice so we nicknamed the van Boris but it, our van needed a name so over the last few weeks we'd, uh, we'd discussed this and there's only ever been one name for us the name's blown away <laughs> Um, when we started this journey, you'll have seen in a lot of videos, there was a little little guy who used to bob around. And, you know, we'd always include whatever we did, that little guy, you know, he was always going to be there, he was always going to be part of this journey. And unfortunately, he got ill and we had to put him to sleep. And... But even that process, well, that process for me was the hardest thing I've had to do in years, you know. He was my little pal, and uh, he was always there, he was always helping me, he was always coming over for a cuddle. Towards the end he got ill. Um, he, we noticed over a few months that he was starting to go blind, and towards the end of his life um, he started with something called dog dementia. Um, when we noticed this it was it was quite distressing because <coughs> we could be sat watching TV or just sat in the room with him and if he if he didn't know you were there he would he would start crying for you. He was really he was lost, he was um, he was upset. So our van is gonna be called Dexter. Never ever another name for this van. It was just, it's always gonna be Dexter. Even when we put the van together, we, uh, we had the tow bar on the back. We put his ball on the tow bar as a tow bar hitch, um, just so he was always with us. We've got his ashes and, you know, we don't know what to do with his ashes yet. Two, still quite raw, you know, it's, it's about 18 months on. We've got Boo now, and Boo's took a lot of that pain away. But the fact are, it's, it's a hard thing to replace. He's a, he's a good dog. And um, for a long time I didn't want one, but in reality, Boo come along at the right time, and I need her. I enjoy the company, and I enjoy her company. You'll see me out at the festivals and the shows, just walking around with her in the mornings. And, uh, she's been good for me, and we've built up a little bond. But the best dog I've ever had in this world is Dexter, and it's rightly so we should name the man after him. So let's get on with it. So where are we at today, son? Where? Yeah, we're in a little village. It's a little village. <laughs> we're in a little town beside Blackpool, aren't we? Yeah. Called Lytham St Anne's. And over there's Liverpool, I think. Pretty sure that's Liverpool. Yeah. Over there. I don't know. Oh, look. It's a balloon. <laughs> Go on, stiff ass, catch it. Catch it. <laughs> Go on, catch it. Don't let it beat you. Come on, son, catch it. <laughs> What's in it? <laughs> <coughs> I almost spit it on you. I know you did. What's inside it? Oh, sorry, did it have sand on it? Yeah. Take it back. Okay, take it back. Well, we're not going straight back yet. Oh, look. Here's a set. <laughs> Riley, you lose it. He's 
going to trip. Well caught. Well caught, sir. Finish off your job. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you've lost it now, son. <laughs> kicked it. You got that closely, you kicked it. Come back, it's gone. <laughs> oh well, we tried to rescue it. It's it's lost now. I wonder where it come from. Maybe it was a sign. Maybe that's Dexter coming back to play with us for one last time. This is something weird, Riley, isn't it? Very it? It's up by them sticks now. But look at this, right? We're on a beach in the middle of nowhere. Right? Absolutely n middle of nowhere, yeah? And a balloon bounces and lands right beside us. I think it's a sign. I think it's Dexter coming back to play with us one last time. Yeah. And you've just chased him into the into the into his next life. <laughs> yeah? yeah. I, I can't explain it. That where would a balloon come from? Where would it come from? Yeah. We're in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it as a sign. Okay, come on. No no we're not going for it, it's gone now. Riley, it's gone. I can see it. It's gone. I Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Riley, come on son. Take it for what it was. What? Take it for what it was. It was a couple of seconds of fun. And Mum's not going to believe us. It's a good job I had the video on. She's not going to believe us. It's hard splitting them up, isn't it? Uh -huh. oh. If I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of paper, would it make any difference? Would it change for the better if I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter? He is our dog and he is a miniature Jack Russell.
if I got every word perfectly weighted on a thin piece of What's that, Dexter? You got a large seat? Oh. Well, you used to hold my hand. Didn't he? No, he used to hold my hand while I had that ice cream. He used to put his paws on my hand. And eat, eat the ice cream like that. Oh, go fly. It's going to go there.